What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to continue my series that I have here breaking down the close quarters weapon and what you're going to see today is the scar L. For those who'd like to know the specs of it, it fires the 5.56 NATO caliber round. It's a light, lighter version of the scar H, hence the L instead of the H. It's not as damaging per bullet, but it has less recoil and carries more bullets in the magazine. It's unlocked in the Assault class by completing the assignment goals of 20 kills with the Underslug Grenade Launcher and 15 with Hand Grenades. And to be honest, this one's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, 20 kills with the Underslug won't take you long, but the but especially if you use the environment to your advantage, but the grenades probably will. What I did is just uh, never die without throwing one and try to find flank roots and th toss them in areas with two or three people bunched up. Uh, but this one took me a while, uh, so I imagine it probably will be about the same for everyone unless you happen to get multiple triples. This gun holds a maximum of 30 rounds plus one in the chamber, so 31. And fire has a fire rate of 620 rounds per minute, which is actually quite slow for an assault rifle. Uh, it performs well at all ranges because of the high damage per round associated with it, which is 25 points at 5 meters and 18.4 at 50. It doesn't have much recoil, and this is because of the average rate of fire. Uh, my typical loadout with this gun, pretty much like every gun I use, is the red dot sight, the bipod, and the heavy barrel. It doesn't need a flash suppressor because it already has a low recoil and the extremely low fire rate. Um, so I'll take the aim down the sight accuracy bonus the heavy barrel brings with it. I'll sometimes sub out the bipod for the undermounted M320 or the undermounted shotgun because if you're not going to use the bipod anyway, which I almost never deploy it, you might as well carry something to break down walls or clusters of enemies. Uh, overall, I'd say I'd give this gun a 6.5 or a 7, and I know that a lot of people will probably disagree and say, Hey, this is my favorite gun. How come you hate it so much? But to me, me playing it, I don't like it as much. And I'll tell you why. Because when I get in uh, close quarters combat situations against anyone with a faster fire rate, if I don't get a headshot, I lose. Uh, I'm better off switching to my sidearm than using this gun in a hip fire situation. If you have success with it, power to you, go ahead and use it. To me, I don't find I have regular consistent success with this gun because the fire rate's just too low. The recoil is next to nothing, which is great, but to me, the extremely low fire rate puts this gun... If you want regular success with this gun, you want you have to pick your battles. You have to sit back more and wait for the, for the, the attackers to come to you. Instead of going out and actually rushing and getting them. Because the fire rate's just too low. We match up against someone with an AK and it's over. That's why I figured this gun for me gets a maximum of 7 out of 10. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Hope you enjoyed this video. I have a feeling this video will probably definitely get some comments about it. Because I know a lot of people like the Scar L. But to me, I just don't like it. Uh, but hey, power to you if you have success with it. See you later.